My name is Matthias Steiner, and I'm part of strategy and product management for our cloud platform. And uh, I was co-chair together with Julian Fisher from any Nines. Um, and when we started talking to the foundation about this track and what we want to cover here primarily, we had lots of conversation. Originally, we thought it would also be a good title to call it Cloud Foundry in the Enterprise. But apparently, that name has been taken by the customer success story. So we said, OK, let's go for something else, which is broad in scope, because we have a quite diverse range of topics and speakers here. Um, and we, we went with Cloud Foundry at scale. And uh, Julian really uh, and me, we wanted to keep this authentic and honest. Yes, it's a sponsored track, but from all the submissions we got, we said we're going to focus on those that can rightfully claim to be the most uh, important ones for you. So on behalf of SAP, I, I definitely want to say this. Um, you will see no product pitches, nothing of that sort of nature. Um, but it's all about knowledge sharing and, and you know, giving back to the community. Um, with that said, so this track is kind of going into the same direction as the famous cloud maturity model, basically implying that there are different levels of excellence right, which you go through in order to master cloud. And I think that's also true in running Cloud Foundry at, at scale when it comes to large di distributed systems and so forth. So the idea is there's always a next level you can achieve. So let's talk about uh, what it takes to get to the next level and what some of the experiences people made uh, when they go there. And basically, I want to really keep this short and just let the sessions speak for themselves. So we're going to kick this off with, uh, with Sean and, and, and Dimitri talking about some of the lessons learned that they had when, uh, <laughs> when uh, making SAP's multi-cloud strategy real, what are the problems that they faced, how did they overcome these, uh, and so forth. Um, then we're going to talk about how to manage hybrid cloud environments, right? How to move from on-premise to the cloud. What does it take to operate all of this? How does this open service broker API fit into this? We heard about already Abby talking about this at the keynote stage. So this is what uh, Sean from H HCL will, will cover. Then we got two colleagues of mine, um, Andreas and Martin, that will talk about how do you keep a large distributed platform running continuously or blooming continuously? Um, what does it take from having a multinational team span across three different time zones? How do you interact? How do you operate? So really about how do you use alerting and, and monitoring approaches and so forth to yeah, keep up to speed with what's, what's happening underneath. Um, next is my colleague Nikolai from our Sophia Labs. Um, he will also talk about lifecycle management, um, what it takes to really yeah, operate this at, at, at large. And um, he will also talk about um, a new service um, um, that we will be rolling out. This shows you how to really yeah, orchestrate this complex um, deployment process. Mm -hmm. Next is Stefan, who will talk about how to secure the underlying uh, uh, network stack. Right, If you're running this in a multi-tenant environment with multiple customers uh, sharing the same platform. You want to make sure that the communication is secure between the paths and the underlying levels. Um, so this is what we will cover in our IPsec Bosch release. Um, then we're going a little bit towards the whole uh, area of IoT um, and the challenges typically coming with this. So high volume message uh, throughput. How do we handle this? Um, yeah, How can we actually make sense of all the incoming data and process it uh, in, a, in, a, in a sophisticated manner? Um, then we got Bebe uh, from Dell EMC. She will also talk about IoT and also about how they manage to aggregate all the streaming data across the board and also how to you know, move from the development landscape to production in, in a seamless manner. Uh, last but not least, we got Domain from Pivotal um, also talking about data-driven IoT apps. So we have a big IoT section at the end of day one. Day two, uh, again, we, we kick it off uh, with a joint session by uh, Mendix and, and, and SAP. So Nick and, and um, Riley will talk about the rapid application development tool by Mendix, uh, which we have recently also partnered up with to bring low-code development uh, into the enterprise and our ecosystem. I mean, our rationale is simple, knowing that software is the number one differentiator and driver to you know, 
accelerate business processes, uh, re uh, rethink them, remodel them. There's a huge demand for developers, um, which probably probably can't be able to meet the demand. So we want to empower also non non engineers, non non developers to really yeah, participate in this digital transformation journey by building new applications using uh, Mendix tools. Um, that's that. Then we're going to talk about um, how to set up a multi-cloud enterprise grade found cloud foundry installation. Um, um, Jürgen will cover this. So basically saying, OK, we, are, we have been teaming up with AWS, Azure, and GCP. Um, they all have the little different nuances that we need to you know, uh, um, account for. And um, this is where we have the HA proxy, which will handle us to yeah, bridge these gaps and, and have a common layer on top. Uh, next thing is uh, Mark from Kichi. He will talk about solving client telling for luxury goods. And I think the most interesting aspect in, in his uh, uh, abstract for us was how he really bridges this gap between having a consumer grade UX while at the same time delivering on an enterprise grade um, robustness of the application. Then we got uh, Christoph and Christian uh, working on um, how to really uh, manage all the incoming um, logs, you know, and look, look into those, manage those, and have a common metric across the, the whole um, landscape infrastructure. Um, then we got Bradyut, and I hope I pronounced his name right. If not, I'm, I'm really sorry, who will talk about, yeah, the new auto sleep feature that we have been um, um, helping and, and contributing to. And this is basically saying if you provide lots of um, accounts that are typically idling, for example, a trial landscape as we do with Cloud Platform, then you want to have a, um, a way to protect your resources and just shut down the applications and put them to auto sleep until they got invoked again. So quite a nifty tool also from the provider side and, and providing a developer experience um, to the outside world. And wrapping it up again with IoT, um, here Barton will also talk about um, yeah, how can you innovate at the edge where all the data is being collected and how do you get it from there into Cloud Foundry at scale. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do here. And uh, thanks for joining. And without further ado, I want to ask um, uh, Dimitri and Sean to take the stage. Thanks. <laughs>